the big game Friday mm-hmm. or Friday night, uh, the bonfire in Berkeley, big deal, and and uh, the Stanford game was going to be at at, at Cal that year, mm-hmm. <coughs> and bonfire and it's a big presentation you know the axe is presented and all that kind of stuff well some of my younger fraternity brothers um, one of which was on the executive committee at a student union and he had access to the safe in, in the student union you have to understand like this thing it's it's really it's locked up they keep like, yeah, close oh yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it's locked Locked up. I mean, it's on display during the daytime. Mm-hmm. And this is 1960. But Even in 1960, they're locking it up. <laughs> when at, at nighttime, they they have a, a safe okay. in the student union, and and they they they, they put the uh, you know the axe in there for safekeeping. Well, this one guy who was who's on the executive committee. Yeah. made up and a box with a bunch pepper. of junk in it I, and know, went maybe. to so the gal and he presented so, his yeah. credentials Send and he said, I'd I like to put this, my my box, capsule? in the yeah. safe. Yeah. No problem. And, and so he watched yeah. as so as she was dialing yeah. the numbers mm-hmm. to, to yeah. have access and of course the, the access exactly. kept in there. But he got the numbers and they yeah, broke in, uh, punched out a, okay. a, a little so, pane window in no, the, in the, in the door, mm-hmm. and then um, got into the student yeah. union yeah. that, that yeah. night. <clears throat> Did the no- he forgot to record the rotation of, 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 of the number. So we went back the next day and he said, hey, I want to pick up my, my package. This time, he memorized the direction. So he had the directions and the numbers. So they went back again into the studio. You know, the, the door, little window was unrepaired. So they, they went in and uh, did, did their deal, opened it up, and, and got, got the axe out. <laughs> and... Um, Oh, they were, you know, fraternity brothers and all kinds of, don't really know where the act was. It was in one of the rooms in, in the fraternity. And and we were there on a Friday night for the uh, bonfire rally. Yep. And these guys are sitting there chatting and, and, and all that, hooting and all that. Well, we, we got the gifts that they they had pilfered the Stanford Axe. Okay. And, and so, you know, we thought, well, shoot. You know, if, if they stole the axe, then... You know, we were very ten years older than these cats, and we wanted it. <laughs> it was yours. And you were their senior. And 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 we we knew that of the three guys, only one had a car. And Piedmont Avenue, the main main thoroughfare, has to be kept clear on on big game. Okay. Friday, you know, for traffic issues. So we knew that. If this guy had had the car, he's going to park as close to the fraternity as possible. You know, common sense. And we figured that that's where where, where the axe was. Well, there is a, 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 a great big roundabout just opposite our fraternity, and it's it's a slight grade. And Wait, which what was your frat? Which frat were you in? Phi Kappa Tau. Okay. Uh-huh. Phi Tau. And we 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 located the car, and the car is is it's on a kind of a downslope with the tires, uh, the wheels, the tires into the curb and there you know there's three of us and so we tried one guy behind the steering wheel and two trying to push this car up the hill a little bit to free up we wanted to roll it downhill to get into some private area so we could do some um, uh, work on on Looking yeah. for the act. <laughs> you well, want to do it in there the were yeah. there were three uh, campus police 
working that cul-de-sac, and they saw us trying to push the car up off the, you know, off, off the curb. And I said, you know, you know, we, we have a dead battery. All we're do, trying to do is, is get a compression start. That's so, what the cops, the cops came up when you're like... There, there's to push three it. police. Yeah. And, and uh, three of us, one of us was, was the driver. Uh -huh. yeah, and okay. so <laughs> we pushed the car uh -huh. up off the curb. And the other policemen stopped all the traffic <laughs> oh, yeah. so they could roll it downhill into a. Uh, so basically, uh, they're helping you get in, into. Yeah, this, I this mean, other, I, they're they're basically letting you move a car. Illegally. Yeah, you know, they're I said, hey, you. we we have to do a compression start. We have yeah. a dead battery. Yeah. yeah, got it down into remote area, uh -huh. and and that's when um, we. One of the guys uh, uh, knew how to Jimmy walks and all that kind of stuff. Anyways, we we, we got in the, into the car, uh, punched out the cardboard from the back seat into the into the trunk. There was a box in there, and the axe was. Oh uh, yeah, sure. If you have any more of these, that was good. The axe was 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 inside the box. So, like you got into the back basically and uh wait how'd you get into the trunk like someone just knew how to break into a trunk or yeah i mean uh i didn't but but one of these you know guys from oakland knew how to how to do things so anyways we yeah we 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 got the axe out and it's it's, uh -huh. it's in a box and in the meantime you know we, we had stolen this guy's car uh -huh. And wait, so where was the car, by the way, at this point? It was in a driveway, or oh, it it, it was uh, on a hillside, uh -huh. um, up near the fraternity, uh -huh. and so we just rolled it downhill to find a, a vacant parking spot, and and just you know parked it on the street, and from there with the act, uh, my my former roommate. Uh, who at that time was married and, and was a dentist living in San Francisco. So we, we called him and the three of us went over and uh, with the axe and slept on the floor. Oh, thank you very much. <coughs> Wait, and, sorry, and, you slept on the floor where? Where did you sleep on the floor? Again? Where, where did you sleep on the floor? Oh, at, at, at my former... Uh, roommate from from Cal, uh, oh, okay. fraternity roommate. Seriously? He was married. Uh -huh. He was married. Uh -huh. Okay. And so we just need a place to crash. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. So so we we crashed, uh, and then we we called the San Francisco Chronicle. <laughs> oh, you called the Chronicle? And wait, and, so this is like the first night you have the act. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. I mean. You go to your friend's like place, you crash, yep. and you yep. call the Chronicle. Call the Chronicle, and they send out a cameraman uh -huh. and and a recorder, and they they photograph and and my my buddy where we were staying, his wife had a baby, and so we we we, we put diapers around our face, <laughs> and the the Chronicle photographer photographed this hold holding the act. That's funny. And yeah. and and then all it, it, it all turned. It was just crap. yeah, all hell. Yeah. You know. Wait, so I mean, what, what do you do with this thing? Yeah. I mean, uh, the news media was going crazy so, because wait, so they I had mean, it in the newspaper. This first, is like 1960. What 1960, is like November 1960 or so. Yeah, you know, whenever uh, just before the big game. Uh huh. And, so yeah, it would be just and, about November. And the December. acts uh -huh. did not appear. At, yeah. at, at oh, the presentation. It? Oh, so... Because, you know, we uh -huh. had it. Wait, so was it supposed to appear be right before the game, or was it supposed to appear, like, during the game? Well, no, it, it's a presentation after the game. Oh, okay. That whoever the winner is... Oh, so get, in 1960, get, it, get, didn't, it, didn't, it wasn't presented to the winner then? No, because God, basically no. Basically, it was, like, with you. Yeah, it, it was with us. <laughs> and we're on the lamb. I mean, we're... We're trying, you know. We, we, so are we you didn't. still at your at your buddy's place? Uh, um, one night at my buddy's place, and then uh, of the three of us, uh -huh. uh, the one of the three, he he had a brother who was a um, uh, deputy sheriff in in uh, 
San Jose, uh, uh -huh. uh, Santa Clara oh, County. Yeah. Uh -huh. So then we went down to his place. Wait, so hold on. So when is the whole time that you carved your your name or something in the back? Oh, um, I I had it. Uh -huh. I had the axe mm -hmm. uh, in in my car mm -hmm. at at my home. Wait, uh, so how long did you end up having the axe altogether? Say again. How long did you have the axe altogether? Like, is this like three days or a week? Or oh, um, well, we 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 bagged it in in one day, and then I took it to my house and and these other guys. I don't know where they live. Yeah. You know? uh, not certainly not in Oakland. Uh -huh. I, I was living in Oakland. Yeah. So, so well, I you had took the, it to your house in Oakland. Right? I, I had had it in in my house, uh -huh. and that's when I took it apart mm -hmm. and got my file out and and cut my W U T H my last name uh -huh. sixty in in the back of of the handle of the of the wood handle. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. and then reassembled it and 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 that Wait, was so was it on a plaque then, or was it uh, just like the axe? Was no, it, I mean it was a fancy. Uh, it, was it was a on fancy a, it was display. On a fancy, like display plaque or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so like, yeah. do they? Does it still have the same handle? You think? It probably still. Has uh, the you same know, handle. I I suspect that once I got arrested, and they got the axe <laughs> back, <laughs> I I think they probably took it to a a, a wood wood shop. Yeah. And they probably filled in my carvings. <laughs> you know, my my last name and sixty. They probably. And so you that. put your name in it. Did any of the other guys put their name in no, it? Or no, just, just you. Just, You're just like in the in in like the shop, and your dad's a, at your dad's in, place. In, in yeah, Oakland. in, in uh -huh. my basement, there, yeah. using uh -huh. hand tools or whatever you had. Uh -huh. And uh, but <coughs> these uh, fraternity guys, uh, they got uh -huh. wind real quick that you were the ones who took it. And yeah, and uh, you know records. I don't know, but somehow. Uh, we were long gone. Yeah. But they found out where my parents lived. Oh, okay. Uh, and they came into their backyard and was snooping around. Wait, were you there when they went no, into the backyard? No, no, no. We, by this time, we'd gone from San Francisco down to San Jose mm -hmm. and spent the night with uh, the deputy sheriff. Oh, okay. So you had already so, taken So we, yeah. we had a, a... So it took them a few days to find out where you where your dad lived in Oakland. Yeah, you know, probably yeah. through records and all uh -huh. that stuff. And my dad, you know, he didn't know anything going mm -hmm. on. Yeah. But, but he found out that these guys were <laughs> rummaging through his mm -hmm. backyard. Uh-huh. And, uh, of so course, I did So he probably wasn't very happy. No. And so... Full circle, mm -hmm. I finally ended up with the axe mm -hmm. uh, back in my possession. The other guys went home. Yeah. Down, down <laughs> and, and, you know, uh -huh. what, what do you do? Yeah. I mean, we, we had... You had already, like, had your fun. Down, uh, or, or my good scoutmaster, uh -huh. former scoutmaster, right across the street, a, a police, police yeah. officer. Mm -hmm. And they always got together in the afternoon for mm -hmm. for a cocktail in in his garage mm -hmm. so I, I brought the axe down mm -hmm. and and uh you know yeah. guys the policeman his name was leo and i said leo you know i've i've, I've got to get rid of this thing i'm going to uh -huh. give it to you yeah you know just get it back to its right owner uh-huh well yeah and, and leo had a good buddy who was a, a radio announcer. <laughs> so so Leo told this guy all about the axe. And of course, the, uh, the police guy had, had the axe. <clears throat> and Leo called his radio guy, who, who radio station guy, and we know, oh, I mean, the ass the is gone. The it's <laughs> flat disappearing. Pull it again. And, and this radio guy says, so we know down. who They're has talking. the axe. Okay. Okay. We, we yes. know where the They're axe is. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, you know, yeah. PR. PR. Yeah. And so ultimately, uh, you know, the, the police guy had the axe. Uh -huh. and, uh, and his radio buddy was milking this thing yeah. to, mm -hmm. to the hilt, uh, you know. Uh -huh. And... Uh, and you're so, probably listening to this the whole time, going, oh, "No, no oh, way, no, 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 no." I, 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 I bowed out. <laughs> yeah. So, it, bottom line is that the, 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 uh, the policemen, after they milked it as much as they could, 
they turned it back into the uh, Oakland Police Department, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and it ended up back back in, in Berkeley. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then, at what point did your name come out to the authorities? Because you said you got arrested, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it took them no uh, a no brainer with my last name. Yeah. W U T H. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they come and come and get me. Yeah. And uh, so uh, you know they're 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 polite and you know, when how did it happen? Well, I I chief of police and I laid Wait, a so whole bunch you're, of bullshit. You're like uh, you're speaking to the chief of police in Oakland. Yeah. Or like the campus chief of police. No, no, the the Oakland Oakland chief Oakland of police. police, not uh -huh. the campus. Yeah. And I laid a bunch of bullshit on him. Uh -huh. And, you know, these guys are pros. And he said, okay, you know, that's a nice story. Now really tell what me happened? what happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Click the recorder. Now really what happened. So then, yeah. you know, I, I spilled my guts. Yeah. yeah. So then, uh, like, did you get in trouble or what happened? Like, well, you know, uh, really nothing. Uh, no? they, they got the act back. And, uh, you know, I... Did he say... So you actually were... Were you actually cited then? Or, uh, were you, like, do you have a record then for stealing that? Like... No, no. No, it, uh... Did they say, like, oh, we're just going to let it slide, or what? Yeah, apparently, because, uh, you know... Well, he probably wasn't very happy that his police helped you to steal it. <laughs> yeah, right? Well, yeah. You know, you know they, they had their own person that was involved in it. Yeah. It my my oh. neighborhood yeah. Uh, police officer. Yeah, the accomplice. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say... Well, this cool. But I'm, I'm sure... Things sure have changed. Uh, yeah. Look, it got know, so repaired, and, and I photographed it. Uh -huh. Oh, you took a photograph of it? You oh, God, yes. It? You still have your photo? Oh, yeah.